Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wheels FX YouTube channel. So, before we start this video, be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you do enjoy these videos. Follow my Instagram, I'll put it on the screen. I post all my trades there and basically free stuff as well. Um, what I think is gonna happen with certain pairs I trade and stuff like that. So be sure to go follow my Instagram, which is on the screen. Okay, today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to get sniper entries, how to improve your entries, because I know I struggled with my trading. I was entering too early. I was missing maybe 20 pips, price would go and draw down against me and then it would go in the original direction. So I was missing those um, initial pips where I could have waited and then entered at the, the perfect time pretty much. And I think now with my trading, I've improved this. So I'm here to show you my pretty much entry strategy and how I was able to improve this by like implementing a few simple steps to improve my win rate and improve my entries um, to make them like sniper sniper entries. I don't lose many trades. I'm not going to say I win every trade, but I have a high win rate around 80%, 70, 80% um, because I only trade one pair. I only trade gold. So the strategies I'm going to go over are mostly on gold and GBP AUD because that's what I personally trade. Um, but I do think you can use these on other pairs too, but these are the pairs I'm going to show you the entry strategy on. Um, so now we're going to go onto the computer. I'm going to show you the charts and let's get into this. Okay guys, so we are on the charts now and I am will be looking this way towards the charts because the sun is here and if I have the camera over there, you will not be able to see my face at all. Um, so. This example, if you do uh, follow my trades or you're in my VIP group, link in the description to that, I send out all my trades there. Um, you will have seen this trade already, but I'm just gonna go over it in entry-wise, why I entered at that certain point, why didn't I enter on the break of this certain area. So I used the 15 minute, the 10 minute, the five minute, and even the one minute looking for entries on gold, um, because I think personally, it is just the best um, because you can catch these small moves um, not small moves like as in only 10 pips I mean I mean these small patterns which you can see on the lower time frames which you wouldn't be able to see on the higher time frames because you'd just be waiting for um, certain candles to close so if you look here what you have is you have a wick up here a wick up here wick up here and then wicks down here so we know that this is a nice key area where we can um, look for price to come back into. So we extend that across. We have all these wicks into this area. So anywhere around here, this is where we are looking for entries. Um, on gold, we have actually just um, wicked into the monthly lows and we did create new monthly lows on a double bottom sort of formation. And then we have broken out of all of these areas. So now we are looking for a gold push. So 10 minute time frame. We've got this bit of consolidation here. So now we want um, price to pretty much bounce either break of this or bounce off this bottom area again. Uh, so if we play price along a little bit, as you see, most people will be entering here. A lot of retail traders will be entering buy positions after the close of this. Maybe they'd have their stops. Uh, if we adjust this have their stops maybe just below this level 43 pip stop and I don't know they'll be targeting um, anywhere up here uh, maybe 18 14 they'd be like this price would come up oh they'd be a nice profit wick down wick down stop them out rejection of this area so they've all been stopped out so they're obviously like oh why what happened here I was just buying on the break of this consolidation but what I personally do is wait for price. As you see, we've had the the, re, the break consolidation. Price has come down to this level. We've had a push again. But what I want is another sort of confluence here. As you see now, I'd like to see price come down here again to create the double bottom. Boom, there, there we have it. I entered the trade here. 
So if we go on the five minute, you probably have to see, yeah. So when we had the two tweezer top, tweezer bottom candle sort of formation here, I would have entered there. Um, I did actually send this out to my VIP as well. Um, and I did have my stops at 91.8, I'm pretty sure. We had around 28 pip stops like that. Um, and we were targeting 18.16. Um, if we edit this and we put the take profit to 18.16, as you see, just over 7% risk to reward. If we play this out, we see what happened. Boom. So we had the push up here, retest, double bottom was formed here. We had this area, double bottom at this key area. So this is a lovely, lovely entry sign. And also another entry requirement which you could have implemented to make it even higher probability is this. If we go back onto the 10 minute, if we go back down to where we entered, you see the price from this push up here um, to the original push here, the price came down, rejected the 61.8%, rejected it again, and we entered just on that 61.8% Fibonacci rejection. And then you could have targeted this level up here, the minus 61.8%, but we targeted 18.16. And if you look what happened, if we extend this, boom, take profit smash to the pip, then reversed. Um, and then also what I do with this strategy is try and focus on these small stop losses. So if you remember, we had our stops around 28 pips, but if we were being like really confident in this trade, um, I like to leave gold a little bit of breathing room. You see, you could have had it just below these wicks here and had a 14, uh, one to 14 risk to reward, but I've had issues with gold before. I have two small stops. I get stopped out and then it makes its move. Um, so what I focused on here was just leaving, you know, 10, 15 pips more on the stop loss, which allowed gold to, although we didn't have any drawdown, we were straight into profit. I could have had, you know, five pip stop losses and we would have had a one to 20. But you know, anything could have happened. We could have wicked back down into this area before moving up. So it's best to just, uh, on the side of caution, um, I think that's the saying. <laughs> but yeah, that's the gold trade which I like to show you. As you see, we had our entry confirmations. We waited for the double bottom, the retest of this area. We didn't just impulse enter here, um, just because price broke out of this zone. So we obviously had this consolidation here. Um, we didn't just enter on the break. Um, if I show you another example. Uh, if we come down here to GBP AUD today, if we actually go back to this morning, as you see, what we had was, I've mentioned it in previous videos, I've uploaded a video about these key levels on GBP AUD, pound, Aussie, dollar. And when I saw a price approaching this 1.77 area, this is when I was thinking, you know, this is a good entry spot. Um, so what I did, was on the higher time frames. I looked and if we go back to when it was, I was looking, I was like, oh, we've come down to the 1.77, 1.7700 level and we've rejected. So now what we're looking for, we go down to the lower time frames now, we're looking for areas where we can see an entry spot. So here, perfect. We have this consolidation, we've had a double bottom, um, price is pushed up again. If we wait for another confirmation, maybe a break of this level now. Boom, there we go. This is when you gain your entry. Although I just said in the previous clip that you like to wait for the retest of the consolidation, what we've had here is a different sort of um, situation in my opinion. So what we've had, we've had to push down to this level, bounced, created a double bottom. And because this is a key level where we like to see um, price bounce off, if we look in the past when price has actually come down to this level. If you see, we've just had quick touches of this level and then we've rallied on. So if we go back now, what we see is we've had these taps of this level and on the higher time frames, these are actually rejections. 
So, and then we came down to the lower time frames to look for entries. So you could have entered on this bullish engulfing. We've got the double bottom on the lower time frame. The retest, we've got double bottom here. Perfect, perfect. So our confluences for this one are consolidation. We've got the double bottom, so that's one. We've got the bullish engulfing, that's another. We've got the retest, that's another one. And also we've got the break of this consolidation here. So if you actually entered this here, let's just say um, stops just below this level, you know, 28 pip stops, and where would we target? This is the one of the keys. So target wise, I'd say TP1 definitely 1.78. So that's a nice one to 2.7. TP2, 1.79, a nice one to six. TP3, 1.8, a nice one to nine. And if we actually look here, let's see one to nine, let's see how price plays out. So as you see, wick down, doesn't quite hit the stop loss. And now we're rallying up. As you see, if we go on a higher time frame, you can probably see it's a lot better. But price came down, boom, boom. Boom, retested the area again. So we got three wicks down here and then bullish push up. So TP1 hit would have been smashed. TP2, let's see if we can hit the TP2 at 1.79. Boom, that was smashed too. Now if we go into price right now, we haven't quite reached 1.8, but it would have been a nice 1.8. Uh, so 8% up on this trade so far. And I think this was also aided by the vaccine news which has come out today. Um, there was news about uh, 40 to 49 year olds getting their vaccine. So it's good to have notifications on for the news. Um, so you can obviously see these things and you might be in a, a short position around here. I, I don't know. And then you might get stopped out. Um, and you're like, why did I get stopped out? But if you have your news on, you get notifications, then you can think it wasn't anything wrong with the analysis. It was more the fundamentals which actually made this trade hit the stop loss. Um, so yeah, it's just good to focus on the technicals and also just watch out because a lot of traders, they might not know what NFP is. If you don't know what NFP is, say you're trading gold, you're trading US dollar pairs at 1.30 UK time on that first Friday of every month going to be game over if you, you're trading in the wrong direction. You'd probably even be stopped out first before it went in the right direction anyway. Um, so yeah, it's just be careful trading around these certain environments as well. But that is the advice I've got for sniper entries. If you did enjoy, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.